Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's 8.02. We're up bright and early. Blue skies again. It's going to be a scorcher today. Uh, lovely and sunny. So thank crunchy. It's Friday. Oh, what a nice feeling. I'm so tired. I've had a lot of early mornings this week. Um, my poor hubby has as well, bless him. He left mega early again this morning. Oh, it's so horrible. Um, yeah, but it's not so bad when it's sunny. It's when it's like dark, wintry, it's not nice. So I've no idea what we're doing today. I need to go back in and get a nice cup of tea. I've just chucked Ruby's bed sheets in the wash. So obviously when it's nice weather, the first thing you sort of think is, oh, get some washing in. Um, I was going to go for like a day cherry shop and I thought, well, it's going to be really hot. So um it's probably nice to do a few bits around the house like in the garden and stuff um i've got a couple of plans that i'm going to do with my garden but i've got to wait for my hubby to come in from work later to help me lift something um yeah i don't really know what else we're doing but we will go to church shop at some point i've got to pick a parcel up for my husband as well uh anyway right let's go in get kettle on right finally done my hair and my makeup so weather it's a bit cloudy at the minute but it's very warm already morning me Beautiful flora. Uh, Pat and Peggy, we need to straighten them all. It looks like they've had a very busy day, doesn't it? Uh, what else have we got? Lovely Bubba, mental health potato check in. Um, yeah, I think he's doing all right today. He looks positive. So, sending you big positive vibes. Don't forget, we're always here for each other. Uh, calendar of the day, we've got dreams. May your dreams be as big as your be as big as your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> my appetite can be very big sometimes right so lovely chanel's advice we've got aging is a state of mind one must keep enthusiasm and curiosity definitely it is the way you sort of act and the way you feel even though sometimes i feel 90 right so lovely black cab wisdom we've got to do a mundane task uh with style is preferable to do a dangerous one without any <laughs> Always try to get to the top of the ladder. Just make sure the ladder is leaning against the right wall. And why should anyone be led by you? Oh, oh. and uh, two cups of tea, two mugs. So I'd had a cup of tea in this mug of the day and then I'd left it upstairs and I thought, oh, I couldn't bother to run upstairs and get it. So I made another drink in another mug. Look at my mugs, aren't they lovely? Right, first job. Before I had my breakfast, I thought I'm going to make a bed because it gets too hot in here later on when the sun comes round. So first job's first, bed making. Right, quarter to nine. First job done. We'll be meeting ourselves coming backwards. Right, nine o'clock. First load of washing on the washing line. We're a woman on a mission. And although it's absolutely beautiful and I love this glass roof of being able to see my chandelier and stuff, it gets so hot in here. So we have got this like roof blind thing so i'm going to shut it right across and then it shuts the sun out it's really good um it still gets really warm in here but not as hot as when the roof wet not as hot as when the blinds are not across so it does change the room completely right breakfast so breakfast this morning we've got blueberry squares blueberries and bran plates for my friends right are you ready uh, i think there's only two of them i can hear winnie fred <laughs> Florence, right there you go, Florence. Winnie. I don't actually know where Dolly is. She's here somewhere. Is <laughs> that nice? Boring jobs. Right, so you need to wash your empty dishwasher. Uh, and let's have a look at this. Right, are we ready? I can't get my fingers around it. Right, so there is no dress rehearsal for life. There this is a live performance, you stop worrying and enjoy the show. Oh, that's very wise. Right, so many things I keep meaning to say and then I forget. So first thing, the man that came to give us a quote to sort out our fence and the like tumbling uh, banking and stuff, never got back to us. I could have guaranteed that he wouldn't come back with a quote. Um, I just knew when he left, I thought I'm never gonna see him again. So two weeks later, pretty much two weeks we've not heard from him again so we're back to square one with my fence and my banking and stuff my neighbor i love my neighbors they're lovely 
but they've built a greenhouse right next to my fence, like literally right next to my fence. And I can see it every time I go in my garden. My garden's not very big. And I feel like every time I go in my garden, I sort of feel like they're in the greenhouse and they're probably watching me. They're probably not. Um, but you know, like it's just so close. So I'm going to move the little summer house thing that we've got, or hopefully I'm gonna, I've got to measure it if I can. Um, I'm gonna put it against the fence. So when I walk into my garden, I don't feel like the first thing I look at is their greenhouse. And it's nothing against them, it's just me. I'm a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> but you know when something suddenly pops up very, very close to your fence, um, it just distra distracts your eye. And I, I just feel like I'm just looking at this greenhouse all the time. So I want to see later if my hubby and James can move it. So that's another thing I've got to do. Um, I've just rung the vets to get a repeat prescription for Florence. So vets, I don't really agree with vets. I think they make their own rules. So I rang up and I said, can I get a repeat prescription for my dog's like, medicine? And we get our prescriptions online, but the vets charge you for a written prescription. You can't get a prescription without the written prescription from the vets. Um, so they've got you over a barrel anyway, but normally they want to see you like every six months. And I rang up today to get a repeat prescription. So they saw her in February, so they shouldn't need to see her again. And she went, oh, we can only give you a month's worth of prescription now because we need to see your dog. And I was like, but you only saw her in February so she went oh well I think that you we've got to see her again before we can give you any more we can only give you one month rather than three months so she went let me just check so she went and asked and came back and she went oh yeah that's fine we can give you another prescription for three months but then we will need to see her after three months it's so bad because obviously they're not making money off the tablets because you're getting the tablets online but then they're then trying to make money by looking at your dog to check she's well enough to have some more tablets, which is all very well. And I know they look after your dogs and they have to go to university. It's very clever. But when they look at your dog, they literally just take it in, weigh it or whatever, and then give you the repeat prescription. And they charge you an awful lot of money for it, which I don't mind paying every like six months or whatever, but not every month. So it's good to I asked. So I've also got to pick, pick up my repeat prescription for Florence as well. Oh, I've got so many things to do and it's all going around my head. <laughs> wow, can you hear the birds? It's so lovely. Right, next job. So washing's out. I'm now going to measure my hut to see if it'll fit over there. Darling's so stupid. We've got a little ramp for Florence because she struggles to get in and out the door now. So that's Florence's little ramp. And Dolly doesn't like to walk on the ramp. <laughs> right, so I've measured up. And my summer house will fit over that side, which will then give us a bit more privacy again. So, yeah, so as soon as like my hubby and everyone gets home from work later, fingers crossed they'll move it for me. Um, so no offence to the greenhouse, no like neighbour arguments or anything like that. And, you know, it's just... It wouldn't matter what it was, you sort of, because it's see-through, you feel like when they're in there, they're like looking straight in your garden. Do you know what I mean? I sound awful, don't, I don't want to sound awful, but I just stitch your back garden and you just want a little bit of privacy, don't you? Not that I do anything in my back garden that's very exciting, but also Dolly barks quite a lot when they go in the greenhouse, because obviously she can see them and stuff. And um, So I thought if that summer house thing goes across, it will distract Dolly from seeing them as well, so then Dolly won't bark as much. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's so complicated. And also, it's nice to have a move around. So I like playing gardens as I like playing houses. So I thought when it goes across there, it'll look different. And then I'm gonna do something fancy with the wall where it was. So quite excited, really. Lipstick of the day. I got on my teeth. Right, lipstick of the day. Avon, Paris Day lip colour in Cotton Quick Cafe. So we've got to go and collect a parcel from my husband, drop a parcel off my husband, get my nose paper. Um, and then might go and favourite Rick Brat charity shop. And then after dinner, we've got to fetch Florence's prescription. Let's go. Right, I'm ready. I've shoved my trainers on. I thought, oh, I'm only nipping quick. So, trainers it is. Let's go.
water. No, one. I'm back in the goal. You've got to love it when you buy random things. I bought a teepee. I've never had a teepee before. <laughs> and it's not massive. Um, but I think it'll be good for the dogs to sit under. I think I've lost the plot. <laughs> but it was so nice. I just love like wood and sort of like this lovely linen-y stuff. Um, and I just thought, oh, we've got no shade in our back garden. So I thought, it might be really good. So I bought it. Let's go home. Right, I've made it home, but now I'm just going to nip across, take my nose paper, then we can have a look at my teepee. You think, why don't they come when they're supposed to come? Because you wait for them, don't you? Well, it's really blow up. You should have done that. Nothing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's not I'm home! Bless her, she had the heating on. It was rather warm in there, bless her. And then I emptied the bin for her, I had a bit of a chat with her. And now we're home again, so it's 20 past 12. Let's get some dinner. Hmm. It's a hard life, isn't it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Winnie bread. Dinner! So I've got two of the bird's cobs, because they're not very big now, I was being a bit naughty. Mozzarella and bacon, off to enjoy it. Ooh. That was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed it. It was so nice. Right, ladies, are you ready? So, Florence, there you go, sweetheart. There you go. Right, Dolly, go. 
I'm bloody wor what? what <laughs> I can't speak. Winnie hasn't even gotten out of a bed. The laziest dog ever, Winifred. Here you look. Ooh, bit of bacon cob. Look at that. Ooh, lovely. What do you think? Oh, you're going to have to try and stand up to eat it. Come on. Come on. Well, if you don't eat it, your friends will come and eat it. Hurry up. <laughs> That's it. You take your time. <laughs> have I woken you up? I'm so sorry. Oh, look out. Your friend's coming. I can hear her. No, 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 no. You've had yours. Don't be greedy. You've missed a bit, Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> they're all going outside but i've got to go to the vets so i've got to bring them all in in a minute i feel mean bless them they're like yeah let's get settled out here <laughs> right away we go to the vets and then we'll look at my tp when we get back let's go oh and i forgot to say how cool was that green porsche did you see it on my video oh my god it was so low to the floor though literally it was like that i don't know how we could have gone over any speed humps at all but it was cool anyway let's go oh, 37 pound 34 at the petrol station right now let's go to the vet prescription it's on the way back we nip into the charity shop there's a little village one here i thought we're going to have a quick look back in the car so it's five to two uh it's 24 degrees wow it's a warm one so let's get home <laughs> my view when i get home so cute baby hello oh babes you're all right oh hello hello winifred <laughs> right we're outside so first job i need to put those geraniums in these little pots my friends are back outside What do you think, Winnie? 
to give you a bit of shade. No, don't try and come out the side. You come out the door, not the side. It's cool, isn't it? I don't know why I like it so much. Really? Why do you have to sit there? That's not normal. <coughs> have you finished? A pair of you. I'm trying to dig this little tree up. <laughs> I'm literally melting. So I've dug a little tree up. <laughs> I put it in a pot, then my husband rang me, then I sat down and I thought, I'm absolutely boiling. So I've come inside a minute, then I need to go back outside. And then I've just made myself a coffee, so while that's cooling, I'm nip back outside and then we might have a nice yogurt or something. Right, so I've got coffee break before Tesco turn up. So four strawberries and a muller light yogurt and a cup of coffee. <laughs> It's a hard life, isn't it, Winifred? Oh, we've come in. We're so hot, so we're just waiting out for Tesco. I'm sat here sweating. Can you guess the problem? We've got a fly. <laughs> the joy of backing onto fields. Literally, I have my door open like that much, and I guarantee a fly will come in. Why? <laughs> in fact, most of the time, it's not even a fly. It'll be a wasp or something that like will sting you or bite you. Oh, that's so annoying. Can you spot the fly? Where's it gone? Oh, yeah. It's on the door. I don't think you can see it. Can you hear when he's snoring? There's the fly. I can see it, but I can't see it on the camera. What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Well, it's definitely on the door because I can see it. It is. There, there. The most annoying thing ever. <laughs> They're horrible. They're very annoying. Hmm. 20 past four, we're waiting for Tesco. So my slot is between four and five, but they normally pretty much always come about quarter past half past three. So I've kind of been waiting since quarter past three and today they've not arrived yet. They're not late, but they're just later than they are normally. So we're sat here waiting on Winifred and I just want to say thank you so much everybody that wished us happy anniversary yesterday. I cannot believe how many comments there was and it's just so kind. So thank you to every single one of you that took time to wish us happy anniversary. It was so lovely. So thank you so, so much. Oh, and this was my little bracelet that I got yesterday. Look how dainty it is. I wanted a really like thin, dainty one and it's got like little cubits going and little crystals in it. It's so cute. But I don't want to put it on yet, if that makes sense. I thought I'll put it on later when my Tesco food shopping's been. It's so cute, I love it. Mm, there was a knock, knock, knock at the door. I went rushing to the door, thought it was my Tesco. And it was something I presume for my husband. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's not a present for me. It's huge. Well, Tesco here. It's parked on my drive. Mm. I wish they wouldn't park on my drive. Right, next job. Let's get all this put away before it melts. Right, I'm a woman on a mission. So I've put my food shopping away. While I've done that, I've run myself an Avon bubble bath. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I've got Avon Senses Lavender Calm Bubble Bath. So I'm going to jump in here and then do my tea after. <gasps> Lovely, jubbly. Look at the bubbles. Right, I'm out of the bath. I'm so hot. So I'm out of the bath. It's 10 to 6. Now I'm rustling the tea up. Of course, all my friends are with me. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So I'm being lazy. I'm watching telly and sitting down a minute and nibbling on my little ham toasties and my salad and some naughty crisps. Ooh, my tea was delicious. <laughs> what time is it? It's feeding time. <laughs> no, that's not yours. Right. Ready for it? Ready for it. There you go. And last but not least, my dolikins. I've got them into the bin. That's my next job. Right. Let's go. Where are you? Hey! Spin for your supper. <laughs> Hang on. Right. There you go. The washing is in. I've dumped it all on there. I'm going to sort it out tomorrow. All right, it is. I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm hoping that James and my hubby will move to somewhere else, but it's already quarter to seven, so we are running out of time, and James is not back yet, because he's gone to have his hair cut. Oh, I really want them to move it. <laughs> so, anyway, it is. Many thanks for being here with me. So, if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. 
and my little Avon shop is also down below. So I'll love you, leave you. I'll see you tomorrow for the weekend. It's still so warm. I can actually feel the sun burning in the back of my neck. It's unbelievable. And it's going to be lovely tomorrow, thundery on Sunday. And then next week, raining, cold. Well, not cold, but a lot cooler than it has been. I can't believe it. <laughs> so get your washing dry this weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.